Hey everybody! Today for our first recipe from Cambodia, we're making stir-fried noodles called Lort Cha. So we're going to be making the noodles in this wok on my stove here and I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step instructions right now. So the first step of these stir-fried noodles is to take the package of noodles that you bought, put them in a big bowl, and then add four teaspoons of um, soy sauce and four teaspoons of oyster sauce. And then you use your hands to mix them together. Now be careful just because when you're looking for those noodles that I have here in the recipe, they're gonna be in the freezer section of your Asian grocery store that you go to. Or if you don't feel like going to an Asian grocery store and looking for those specific noodles, you can also go to your grocery store down the street and get an udon noodle package from your grocery store and you can make this dish with udon noodles as well. All right, so now that your noodles are coated in your oyster sauce and your soy sauce, we're gonna heat up our wok on the stove. So I have some sesame oil here and I'm just gonna drizzle it in my wok and I'm gonna allow it to heat up for just a couple minutes until it gets kind of hot. Woks heat up pretty fast, so make sure that you don't abandon it for too long because you don't want it to burn. I have yet to, to truly understand my wok. Okay, so I just tested my oil by taking a little bit of water in my hand and just really, really lightly spraying some water onto the oil, um, and that kind of sizzled, so I knew my oil was ready to stir fry in. So I'm gonna take these noodles and add them to my oil. And then I'm just gonna mix these around for a couple minutes until they start to soften. Now these noodles do not need to be pre-cooked or pre-boiled. You can take them right from the package, coat them in the soy sauce and the oyster sauce, and then put them right in your wok, and it's gonna cook them for you. So keep stirring until right now, if you were to eat this right now, it would taste a little chalky. You don't want it to taste chalky. So you're gonna keep stir frying for maybe four or five minutes until they cook through. And if you need to add more oil as you go, you could do that. All right, I'm gonna test one of these noodles. It's good, it's not chalky anymore, and I can tell that it's cooked through because it's not as stiff as it was when I put it in here. So for now, I'm gonna take just a glass bowl off to the side, and I'm gonna transfer these noodles into this bowl so that I can use my wok for my shrimp next. So I'm gonna add a little bit more oil into this wok again. And then I have about a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half of garlic that I'm just gonna saute in here really quickly. And then I have three quarters of a pound of raw, de-veined, detailed shrimp. <laughs> detailed, put the tail off. And once my garlic fries in this wok for a second, I'm gonna add my shrimp into the oil and cook them for a couple minutes until they start to pink up and cook all the way through. All right, so when your shrimp are almost done cooking, when they're almost to the like pink stage that tells you that they're done, we're gonna add in one carrot that I peeled and then uh, grated on a, on a cheese grater. That's gonna go in. And then I'm also gonna add in some bean sprouts. I'm just gonna do them by handfuls. Um, and I think it'll probably, I'm gonna do like two-ish handfuls. But if I was gonna give you a measurement, I would say maybe like a cup and a half. And then I'm gonna let this stir fry up for another three to four minutes or so. Um, and if I need to add more oil as I go, I'm gonna do that just because sometimes the you're gonna run out of oil, especially when you add more, so when you add more ingredients. So I'm gonna put a little extra oil in here and then let this cook down for three to four minutes. So as you can see now, our bean sprouts and our carrots have cooked down and our shrimp is cooked all the way through. So now all we have to do is take these noodles that we had set aside earlier and add them back into our wok. They're gonna be a little stiff from sitting out. So we're just gonna use our spoon to kind of incorporate them back in. And all we have to do now is rewarm them up. So I would say heat them up for maybe like two minutes on the stove and then you are ready to serve. And your stir fried noodles are done. All right, our noodle stir fry is done and it is ready to serve. I am so excited, I love shrimp. I don't know if you guys can tell from my channel, but I have shrimp on here quite often because shrimp is one of my favorite foods in the world. So I'm gonna just serve myself up a little baby bowl of this so that I can try it. Okay. This one is such a good recipe. I'm so excited that it's on my channel for you guys to be able to make it at home. 
Um, if you don't have a wok, you can also just use a pan at home to make something like this. The wok, obviously, is a good help, but if you wanna just make it on a pan on your stove, then that works just as well. Thank you guys for tagging along and watching how I make this stir-fried noodle recipe, and if you want the full written ingredients, you can go to www foreignfork.com slash stir fry noodles. And also don't forget to check out the other videos that are on my channel because we have fun recipes from all over the world that I want you guys to check out. All right, I will see you soon. Bye.